<laughs> this morning, we continue to follow the lives of our nation's bravest, bravest rather, as they return from war. It's still pronounced bravest. We were there earlier this year when a group of Marines came home to North Carolina from Afghanistan's Helmand Province. It has been six months since that very emotional reunion. And now as part of our, come, our series, it's called Coming Home, we focus on the families of two Marines, Major Ethan Crumnow and Major Paul Rivera. Jan Crawford is here with the strength and sacrifice they've shown at home. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. And, you know, I mean, we hear this phrase all the time when we're honoring our nation's heroes, the family yes. serve too. Right. But, you know, what does that really mean for a family to serve? And how do they cope when this huge hole opens up in their home? And then when a loved one comes home and so much has changed, and especially for those with young children. Major's Ethan Crum now and Paul Rivera first saw their families, you could feel the relief. Ready to go watch Star Wars too? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but after nine long months in Afghanistan, Crum now and his wife Christina faced some surprises. You have this idea in your mind that like you'll come home and they're like, oh great, let's go play soccer and let's do this. And then you come home and they're more into a TV show or drawing in a book. On the other hand, everyone wants to hold dad's hand. They want to sit by me at the restaurant. They want to do everything with me. They're not doing it on purpose, but then mom kind of becomes like, a, yeah, mom, we know you, like you've been here. Let's go back that by dad. Too. I'm the problem solver, but he's the fun guy. Paul Rivera also saw how things had changed. It was difficult because it was trying to find some commonalities with them. I know they like Star Wars, so the thing was that they'd already been watching Star Wars, and they were like, okay, Dad, this is what we've been watching. We're almost done. While he was gone, his wife Lily moved some furniture, two twin beds to the master bedroom. It was one of those things where, I guess a comfort for me, where I have all my babies in one spot. I guess that's what helped me sleep too at night. <laughs> for both families, the children are the focus. Was there a moment that was especially hard? The girl sang for the Christmas concert and they were crying because he wasn't there. And you can't console them. It's just not going to get any better. Did you cry? No. How did you do that? Actually, no, I, I did cry. I, I try not to cry in front of them just because I am a very emotional person. And um, so I, I do want them to know it hurts. It does. It stinks. But. I have to console them. It's okay, we've got this. We can do this, mommy's still here. Daddy wasn't there. He was still uh, in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. For kids, the deployments can be hard to process. What was the day like when he left? Everyone was in the car and we were crying for mm. a long time. What were you thinking then? He, he might die since he was working so hard. He might die? Were you afraid? Mm -hmm. The Crumnows have seen the separations take a toll on their son. Family functions and stuff like that. Like Franklin would like pair up with some other dad or some, you know, oh, somebody yeah. that who's, was hard. That was really who's hard. familiar, but to me that like confirmed that he really was missing. At the Rivera house, it's much the same. I was like, no, please don't make him go. Please, please, like, no, I don't want him to go. The kids find their own ways to cope. I basically just thought, he's coming the next day, he's coming the next day, he's coming the next day. Pretty much helped me through the whole thing. Yeah, I had a loose tooth. When the Riveras are separated, with Paul serving in dangerous combat zones, they rely on their faith. I'd wake up and, and just go in my closet and pray for 15 minutes, and that was the one thing I did every day. I just felt like I needed that pickup. Because the, you didn't know what the day ahead was going to be? Yes, and just emotionally. I mean, I'm by myself here. Through multiple deployments, Rivera has learned to be there when he can, even surprising her on special holidays. It was a little scavenger hunt, so I pre-staged things throughout the house to surprise her. Do me a favor, and I need you to go to this room, and I need you to move these books out of the way and happy anniversary. I moved it out of the way and it was a little famous blue box. I was like, oh, you thought about me. It's good to see you. Sorry. Ooh, it's been a while. With dad now home, the Crumnells hold barbecues for family and friends to celebrate the times they do have together. It's really fun with them, too. Is he a fun guy? Yeah, he's silly. Too. He is? Yes. What does he like to do? Mm, well, drink beer. In some sense, it brings us closer together. Now that we were gone for a while, it kind of makes it more meaningful. Both wives recognize the true meaning of sacrifice. 
their needs come second. He doesn't particularly belong to me. He belongs to the government. So he goes and does things that, you know, his responsibilities, and I'm okay with that. And that has to come first. It does. Sometimes. That's the sacrifice for those back home who serve by staying strong. Is he going to stay here for a while, do you think? I hope yes. so. I hope so, but I think he has to have another deployment. Yeah. And how will you guys get through that? Um, by acting good. Oh. And you can see, I mean, even from those little kids, oh. you know, the mix of resolve and hope that all these families have. I mean, they're ready just for the next challenge mm -hmm. and that, that bravery. I mean, we talk about the bravery of our, our, our servicemen and women, but the bravery of those families. Oh, the kids were so, so, so poignant. Yeah. In, in how they talked about their, their parents. And I love the one little person that said, what does your dad like to do, drink beer? Yeah. But, it, but it's such a good reminder, though, behind all of the soldiers who are serving, there are people that love them dearly, that deeply care about them. In addition to the country's admiration, you've got families that really, really care about them. Yeah. It's beautifully done, Jan. Beautifully yeah, done. It's great Thank to see you, you too. Thank, Thank you. you. It's nice to be yep. here and tell yeah. this story. Yeah. Thank you, Jan.